May peace and blessings of Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, be upon all of you. We are going to continue on Surah al Nam, the ant. We're going to study and start from verse number 16. Chapter 27 of the Holy Quran. Holy Quran. If you don't have it, go online. Holy Quran. QuranExplorer.com. Perhaps you may find the entire Quran, or you might look for Old Quran Explorer. Com. I just know those sites because I've been using them for quite a while, perhaps more than 10 years. Very reliable. So I hope you find the right one. So the stories must match as I say. So it's chapter 27 called Al Naml. Al, al Naml. That means the ant. You know, the little small creature that walks on the earth. And compared to that ant and me, I'm a super giant. Can you imagine? I'm a super giant compared to that ant. Imagine if I was an ant, I'd be looking at this giant standing in front of me. <laughs> Praise be to God! What a creature! The human beings! So don't ever underestimate yourselves. Don't ever underestimate yourselves. Praise God and thank God for the way He created you. Be grateful. So the Almighty says, And we verily gave knowledge unto David and Solomon. And they said, Praise be to God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who hath preferred us above many of his believing slaves. And Solomon was David's heir. And he said, O mankind, O mankind, Lo, we have been taught the language of birds and have been given abundance of all things. This surely is evident favor. And there were gathered together unto Solomon his armies of jinn and humankind. There were gathered unto Solomon his armies of genie, shall I say, and humankind, and of the birds, and they were set in battle order. Till when they reached the valley of the ants, an ant exclaimed, O ants, enter your dwellings lest Solomon and his armies crush you unperceiving. And Solomon smiled, laughing at her speech and said, my Lord, arouse me to be thankful for thy favor wherewith thou hast favored me and my parents, and to do good that shall be pleasing unto thee, and include me in the numbers of thy righteous slaves. Amen to that. And Solomon sought among the birds and said, how is it that I see not the hoopoe, or is he among the absent? 
I will punish him with hard punishment, or I will slay him, or he barely shall bring me a plain excuse. But he was not long in coming, and he said, I have found out a thing that thou apprehendest not, and I come unto thee from Sheba with sure tidings. Lo, I found a woman ruling over them, and she hath been given abundance of all things, and hers is a mighty throne. I found her and her people worshipping the sun instead of God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Satan maketh their works fair seeming unto them, and devoureth them from the way of truth, so they go not aright. So that they worship not God, who bringeth forth the hidden in the heavens and the earth, and knoweth what ye hide and what ye proclaim. These are the exact words of that bird, hot hot in the Arabic language. In English we say hoopy or hoopo. So this bird is telling Solomon what's going on here. And then he says a miraculous statement that the Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, has written this in his book, the Holy Quran, forever. The authentic language that is recited in at this moment will be Arabic, and then I will translate for you. The bird says, tremendous throne. Solomon said, We shall see whether thou speakest truth or whether thou art of the liars. Go with this letter of mine, throw it down unto her, then return away and see what answer they return. The queen of Sheba said, when she received the letter, O chiefs, lo, there hath been thrown unto me a noble letter. Lo, it is from Solomon, and it is in the name of God, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Exalt not yourselves against me, but come unto me as those who surrender unto God. She said, O chieftains, pronounce for me in my case. I decide no case till ye are present with me. They said, We are lords of might and lords of great power. But it is for thee to command, so consider what thou wilt command. She said, Lo, kings, when they enter a township, ruin it and make the honorable of its people shame. Thus will they do. But lo, I am going to send a present unto them and to see with what answer the messengers return. So, when the envoy came unto Solomon, the king said, What? Would ye help me with wealth? But that which God hath given me is better than that which he hath given you. Nay, it is ye, not me, 
who exalt in your gift. Return unto them. We verily shall come unto them with hosts that they cannot resist. And we shall drive them out from thence with shame, and they will be abased. Solomon said, O chiefs, which of you will bring me her throne before they come unto me surrendering? So Solomon had an army of, remember, genies, genies, and what else? Human beings. And they worked for him. And he even had chained them all together. In many places, if they were to run away, he would chain them. They would be chained and dragged and brought into where it need be. So Solomon had this power that the Almighty God had given him. He had the power over the devils, the demons, the jinns, the genies. And some of these genies, they can fly into sky and they go and stand really high into the skies and sit on huge mounts and try to listen to what the angels are saying and praying and talking to Allah, God. But then the Almighty says, if anyone is doing that, any genies doing such thing, they will be pursued with a piercing fire. They will be burned and destroyed and killed because no one has the right to interrupt into the government of the Almighty. So Solomon said, O chiefs, which of you will bring me her throne before they come unto me surrendering? A stalwart of the jinn said, I will bring it thee before thou canest rise from thy place. No, verily, am strong and trusty for such work. One with whom was knowledge of the scripture said, I will bring it thee before th thy gaze returneth unto thee. Before you blink, he said, I'm going to bring it to you. Amazing, isn't it? Wow. Praise be to God for creating such creatures who could do such things by His permission, by the permission of God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Amazing. So, one with whom was knowledge of the scripture said, I will bring it thee before thy gaze returneth unto thee. And when Solomon saw it set in his presence, Solomon said, This is of the bounty of my Lord, that he may try me whether I give thanks or am ungrateful. Whosoever giveth thanks, he only giveth thanks for the good of his own soul. And whosoever is ungrateful, is ungrateful only to his own soul's hurt. For lo, my Lord is absolute, independence, bountiful. Solomon said, disguise her throne for her, that we may see whether she will come and go aright or be of those not rightly guided. So when the queen of Sheba came, it was said unto her, Is thy throne like this? She said, It is as though it were the very one. And Solomon said, We were given the knowledge before her, 
and we had surrendered to God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all that she was wont to worship instead of God hindered her, hindered her. Hindered her, hindered her. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Hindered her, for she came of disbelieving folk. It was said unto her, Enter the hall. And when she saw it, she deemed it a pool and bared her legs. Solomon said, Lo, it is a hall made smooth of glass. She said, My Lord, lo, I have wronged myself, and I surrender with Solomon to God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty and the Magnificent, the Lord of the world. Yes, that was the exact and authentic version of the story of King Solomon and Queen of Sheba according to the Islamic philosophy which is the last and the final testament of God to mankind now suppose your grandpa had a 1946 Lincoln town car and then your grandpa, before he passed away, he gave that car to your dad. Wow. And then your dad, before he passed away, what did he do? He gave it to you. Amazing, isn't it? Let's hope it is always this way. That classic vehicle doesn't have any airbags. It doesn't have anti-lock brakes it doesn't have a computer i mean it's a nice car it's wonderful it's enjoyable to drive but then yet we are living at an age in this millennium of the 21st century 2019 where we have vehicles that literally just drive by itself it has airbags it has gps I mean, you name it. Are you going to go buy one of these and drive it? Or are you going to still drive your 1946 Lincoln Town Car? That perhaps by time, things fall apart. A car falls apart. A human being falls apart as age goes up. May God save us. But that's the reality. So you will go and drive a new vehicle, a new vehicle, because you're sure that this is, it's got airbags, you know, it's got brand new transmission, brand new engine, brand new everything. You sit inside, you smell the leather, mmm, smells brand new, you like it, wow, that's amazing. If you can afford it, I hope. Why am I bringing this up? Why am I bringing this up? The reason I'm bringing this up is that in the old days, in the past, thousands of years ago, God the Almighty gave a book to Prophet Abraham, Sohofe Ibrahim. Sohofe Ibrahim. The book of Ibrahim, Abraham. That was approximately 5,000 years ago, more or less. And then the Almighty tells us in the Holy Quran that He gave a book to Moses. Torah, the Torah, the tablets, remember? That before Moses passed away, he put those tablets inside the Ark, the Ark of the Covenant, which the angels are bearing it. They, they are the one who carries it. They are the one who carried it. They brought it down and they picked it up. That's why you can't find it in this world anymore. The Quran mentions that in Surah Al-Baqarah. Go and check it out. So the Almighty says that the angels are bearing it. 
not Allah. So, that was approximately 3,000 years ago. Then the Almighty gave a book to King David, Psalms of David. That was approximately 2,500 years ago. The message was renewed again and again. And then finally, God gave a book to Jesus, the son of Mary, the gospel. And then eventually, 600 years after Christ, peace be upon him, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born in Arabia. And God the Almighty gave him the Holy Quran, the final testament, the final book of God, which is the completion of all the heavenly books. So that's why now that you have the most advanced book, which is the Holy Quran, it's the most advanced book of all the other previous books, which I mentioned. The Holy Quran is the most advanced one. Why am I saying that? I'm so sure about it. Because there are proofs that this book that is more than 1,440 years old, this book mentioned about the Big Bang, the expansion of the universe. The barrier between the water of sweet and salty. The barriers. I mean, I can sit down here till tomorrow morning and give you miracles upon miracles upon miracles. I think if you take a look at my tapes that are perhaps you could see them, inshallah, God willing. I have explained all the miracles one by one and it's, it's, an, it's never going to finish. This holy book has... 6,236 verses, ayats, signs for mankind. And this book is the manual of the creator of the heavens and the earth to mankind. It's the most advanced. So the Holy Quran has been preserved since day one that was revealed on, to the Prophet, peace be upon him, through the Archangel Gabriel which I had explained that before in other tapes, how exactly that happens. So the Prophet peace be upon him, in some occasions, people asked him, how do you receive this revelation? He, he received it in the span of 23 years. The angel Gabriel came down and recited the verses of the Holy Quran to the Prophet and he remembered every word and then he told it to those who could write. And it was, through memorization, the Prophet remembered 6,236 verses. It's quite miraculous. And the Almighty tells us in the Holy Quran that if this book came down upon a mountain, the mountain out of fear of God, it would just dissipate and be completely broken into pieces out of the fear of God. And here we are. Not only we don't read and study about it, learn about it, get our connection with the Creator, people are turning away from God the Almighty, unfortunately, these days. So, I think we should stop right here. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive me and you and all of us.